Because that was a private conversation. You asked right. me for the interview. Right. right. Cool, let's do the interview. Then you come back a couple weeks later and say, can we bring him on there? I'm not feeling due. Right. Not to mention, he's made several, several repeated disrespectful comments about me. He got into it with Dr. Umar Johnson. Yeah, he a fraud too. That, yeah. well, Dr. Umar Johnson? Yeah, man, y'all know he a fraud. Y'all kind of preach some of the same things though. Well, I ain't begging for money. What yeah. about, so what do you think about Dr. Umar? Uh, I don't pay him no mind. He's just talking. He's been talking for a long time. We ain't seen him do. Dr. Umar Johnson just talking. He ain't even got a woman. And he broke. Begging mother Fuck, I'm on debate and sitting up begging. He's a beggar. I ain't no mother beggar. Beggars can't be choosy. Okay. So you want me to sit down with somebody who don't know me and has disrespected me plenty of time? Who the fuck you think I am? Now, when I was doing my little research, um, I came across a video uh, that, that talked about, uh, it was a podcast that talked about how they invited you on to co-host with Charleston White or debate or something like that, uh -huh. and you respectively declined. Um, I... I do want to highlight this one because it did bother me. Um, I, I offered uh, Dr. Umar a chance to sit down and have a conversation with you. I was excited about that, too. That was going to be cool. I was super excited. I was, I was super excited about that. And Real cool. Decline. Flat out. Not interested in that conversation. Yeah. And it's not, I'm not bashing him. I, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Why I, do you I, feel like these people are afraid to have a conversation uh, with you? Uh, because because they, they've heard me speak. Uh, and, and any intelligent person, if they hear me speak, uh, they see the level of, of, of intelligence uh, that I have. Uh, I'm playing a fool. Uh, so these are very intelligent people who who, who you invited, and 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 they are afraid that uh, I wouldn't say they're afraid. Uh, it, it's something about two vipers. You hardly ever see two vipers get in the pit. These today men aren't vipers. And, and what do you mean by that, Charleston? Uh, that's why Muhammad Ali fought Frazier, two Vipers. That's why Muhammad Ali fought uh, Ken Norton. That's why Muhammad Ali fought uh, uh, George yeah, Foreman. Yeah, yeah. Because, be, be, because two yeah. Vipers. But what ends up happening is when you put two Vipers in a pit, Somebody gotta, one of them gets yeah. dethroned. <laughs> yeah. And one of them have to leave the village or the wilderness <laughs> or the jungle and walk away like yeah. the silverback gorilla and can't hang with the group no more. Yeah, that's true. And so they 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 avoid that. They're shy from that, yeah. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, I, I don't have an image. I don't have a degree. Uh, to to try to hold on to, I have real community actions, and I have truth that I stand on. I don't have anything against the brother Charleston White. Uh, I don't believe I belong on a platform with him. Okay. As you can see, my message is very much about the best interests of the community. It's about saving our children, our men, our women. It's about building schools, which I'm actively doing. Okay. I don't believe I need to be on a podcast with someone who has disrespected our deceased, uh, with someone who has said things that many people interpreted as being supportive of rape, as someone who has, you know, done some things that many people would consider deplorable and unforgivable. The messages are not the same. The missions are not the same. The work is clearly not the same. Clearly not the same. Now, he says he's a community activist. I don't know what he's doing. I can't speak to that. But you're damn sure ain't done in these streets what I've done. You understand? I'm the most influential school psychologist in American history, hands down. I say more black kids from prison and special ed than any other psychologist, educator, or person you can name. Like I said, I'm not knocking it. But whatever you're doing, it don't compare to what I'm doing. And I just think in the podcast world, sometimes these guys go out of way, go out of their way, to reduce those who are credentialed and expert in their field and put us on the same level as someone from the community who simply has an opinion. Right. And don't get me wrong, I'm humble. I'll bust it up with anybody. Mm -hmm. But with my six degrees, my credentials, my achievements and accomplishments in life, what I'm doing to serve our people, you're not just going to bring anybody in with me and say, y'all going to have a head to head. No, sir. We can't have a head to head. Because he's not on my level in that way. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And because of the shock value that, because he operates on shock value. Mm -hmm. I don't operate on shock value. Mm -hmm. You ask me questions, I give you my honest answer as a scholar, mm -hmm. not a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't have a YouTube. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I might be the king of YouTube, but I don't have a YouTube. 
You're not going to take what I bring to the table and sensationalize it and trivialize it by bringing this person on set who's liable to say anything. You understand? I'm not going to sit there and you come crooked out your mouth, which he's known to do. That's just going to cause conflict all for what? So you can get views and likes and clicks and snaps. I'm not into that shit. You see what I'm saying? And for me, it was disingenuous for the guy to say what he said, because that was a private conversation. You asked right, me for the interview. Right, right. Cool. Let's do the interview. Then you come back a couple weeks later and say, can we bring him on there? I would I would love to get Umar up here for a conversation, but I mean, it, we got to stop playing the game like I tried to disrespect you by putting you on a platform with Charleston. I see something differently. So, you know, when I reached out to him after that, I told him, I was like, I, you know, you got the wrong impression about the shit that I'm trying to do, homeboy. I'm not feeling dude. Right. Not to mention, he's made several, several repeated disrespectful comments about me. Gotcha. What yeah. about so? What you think about Dr. Umar? Uh, I don't pay him no mind. He's just talking. He's been talking for a long time. We ain't seen him do. See, the reason why I can talk so loud and talk so boldly and insult the gangsters in the streets because when from the other cities and the other states start calling the from the streets here, say, man, y'all gonna let you talk? Now, nah, homie, he really helped the kids. Gotcha. So that's been my protection. If I was a who didn't do none of the things that I do with kids, homie, I would have been dead. Go find you. Like the debate, like her son Campbell, Dr. Umar Johnson, or uh, uh, Lil Bow Wow. Yeah, yeah, give one of them their debates, but not me. I'm gonna be disrespectful during the debate. I'm gonna call me. I don't know what he's talking about. He got into it with Dr. Umar Johnson. Yeah, he a fraud too. That yeah, well, Dr. Umar Johnson. Yeah, man, y'all know he a fraud. Y'all kind of preach some of the same things though. Well, I ain't begging for money. See, I was yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We now I ain't saying. Don't say no real shit, but man, he done been caught with a stripper hoe. Uh, he been begging for money by the school he ain't got built. Uh, yeah, man, he he went off on a rampage one time. They thought the nigga was crazy, crazy. Uh, no, nah, man, uh, I ain't done none of that, homie. Yeah, man, I ain't had a, I ain't flopped yet. Let me just say, yeah, I ain't fly, I ain't, I ain't flopped yet, man. Yeah, they got at least let me flop for they yeah bash me, but yeah, I ain't flopped yet. But and Doctor Umar Johnson, homie. Uh, man, they playing on us with that shit, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh debate, Doctor Umar. Do Doctor Umar got a wife, baby? I don't debate no. Can't get no pussy every night. <laughs> yeah, nah, I ain't debate no bitch ass like Doctor Umar Johnson. Can't got a wife. Show me a got a woman in the kitchen cooking. Show me a got a woman in the kitchen cooking for him in the morning. Doctor Umar Johnson just talking. He ain't even got a woman. And he broke, begging mother. Fuck, I'm on debate and sitting up begging. He's a beggar. I ain't no mother beggar. Beggars can't be choosing. So Dr. Umar Johnson is a with no woman, no money. He ain't got a big old house like me, and he can't get nobody cooking breakfast in the morning. I don't debate them kind of people. Dr. Umar got multiple wives. Any with multiple wives got a bunch of dumb bitches. Because a smart bitch ain't finna let no real nigga have no multiple wives. She may let him have some hoes on the side, but she ain't gonna let him have multiple wives. He he got a bunch of dumb fuck he talking about. Yes, only one wife. You don't make every you don't let no bunch of bitches have the titles of wives. That's some of shit a sucker ass nigga do. I got my own money. So I don't debate no begging ass and be mad because won't nobody give him no money to help him finish the school. Where the school at, Dr. Umar? Begging that. Didn't he get caught with them strippers and them strippers trying to shame him? It ain't a bitch done tried to shame me yet. Okay. So you want me to sit down with somebody who don't know me and has disrespected me plenty of time? Who the fuck you think I am? You see what I'm saying? Now, if he never disrespected me, I still wouldn't have wanted to do it because he's a loose cannon and I don't really rock with his... Format. You see what I'm saying? I'm somewhere else with it. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I like the clown around the joke and all that too, but there's levels I don't cross. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has levels he don't cross. And because of that, I don't think we should be seated together. Now, if you're doing work in the community, I salute you, brother. Keep doing your work. If it's meant for our roads to cross on some activism type shit, we can do that. But debate, you can't debate me. I take a quote from John Henry Clark. He said, I only educate people. Excuse me. I only debate my equals, all others I educate. I could give you an education, bro. Ain't gonna be no debate.
we not on the same level. And the problem with the social media world is they like to put us all on the same level. So I'll be having to tell people, I'm not that guy. I'm not him. I'm not him. Look at my body of work. It's more than videos, bro. What do they do when they off YouTube? They don't do shit. So you're not going to put me on a level with these guys. We are completely different. When I die, I'm going to be written into the history books for the things I've done. And I'm not even done yet. When I die, these other people are going to be written into the history books for shit because they ain't done nothing. I've been on the front page of the American Bar Association Journal. I've been on the front page of the ABA, the American Bar Association Journal. It's documented of the work that I've done. Homie, it's still questioning if he's a real doctor. Niggas doctor. What is your name, Dr. Ruff? What's good, Vado? Of who I am and what I do. And he's still in question on if he's a real doctor, if he has really taught in school. He's still in question. I'm not. Between me and Dr. Umar, it's documented the work that I've done from legislation with the United States Supreme Court changing the juvenile laws without parole legislation. Supreme is it, documented, homie. Working with congressional members, it's documented of me doing trainings with the United States Department of Homeland Security, Human Trafficking Division, North Texas Crime Commission, and Eastfield Police Training Academy in Mesquite three years consecutively. It's documented of me being a pre-law student at Texas Westland University. Home is documented. He's still in question. So you're not going to make us equal because we're not. No disrespect to him, but I'm not sharing space. I, first of all, I don't even like to lecture with other people. You, you feel me? So just to show how it's not personal against dude, I don't even like to lecture with, with other people. If I'm scheduled to speak in Atlanta or Miami or Houston, and I'm thinking it's just me and the organizers of the event bring me him or him or him, bro, you can have him on stage, but you're not having him with me. Well, Dr. Umar, we thought he'd be a good match. He's not a match because he's not on my level. You're not going to give my platform. You feel me? You're not going to give my audience to somebody who's a hater or somebody who's a scammer or somebody who's an opportunist or somebody who's not fighting for black folks. So this is not just the YouTube world where I don't share space. If you notice most of my lectures... 95% is me alone. I've shared this stage with David Banner. I've shared this stage with Dr. Claude Anderson. That's really about it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm not sharing my stage with nobody else because they're not on my level. People wanted me to share the stage with all types of guys in the country. But bro, what works have they done? What institution are they building? You're not going to put them on my level because they don't belong and they got to earn that shit. You want to sit next to me, you're going to earn that shit and you're not going to earn it by running your mouth on YouTube. I want to see evidence that you are doing real works in these streets. And until you do that, we not, we, we, we not tag team. And I don't need to tag team with nobody. What I need to tag team for? I ain't been tag teaming. I'm good. Y'all need me. I don't need y'all. Leave it there. Uh, now, uh, uh, Charleston and I sat down yesterday for we we spoke about the Umar shit like it is what it is. Hey, hey people, people got a mistake at home. They think it was gonna be a debate. We wasn't asking for no debate. Yeah, we weren't. Trying yeah, to no debate. We were just sitting there and go have dialogue. Uh, uh, you you know, uh, because my position is, uh, as long as he's been doing the work, he's been asking black people for money, donate money, send me money. As long as I've been doing the work, I've never asked black people to send me no money. You, you can't find one video of me asking people, hey, send something to my cash app. I don't solicit money. I don't solicit funds, my nigga. I figure out a way how to be self-sustainable where I don't have to ask my people to help me help y'all. Help me help y'all. Yeah. And most of the people I'm asking is poor. So if I had a church, I'm not going to ask my church members to give me money. And I know most of them are struggling. If I got a nonprofit organization, I'm not coming to black people online and asking them to give me money. And we all struggling for money. So that's, been, that's the only thing I want to talk to them about. Homie. What are you doing with the money that these people are giving to you? Not only the money that I earn offline, the money that I earn off comedy shows, nigga, I go back to the community and give a third of that portion away of my back end money into the communities I perform in. And, yeah. and I don't have You know what it is too though? So Somebody nah, I don't want these to people. I, don't want to yeah. I actually admire him. But the difference between me and him, uh, I ain't trying to play polygamy. Uh I ain't I ain't I ain't I ain't sneaking and fucking with white hoes. 
and I ain't asking my people to give me their money, to take away from their household, their people miles, their children, to help me build something that I know I may or may not can't build without them. Let me build it without y'all, and then y'all come join in. Yeah. Yeah. Go find other ways to come build what God put in my heart for black people. But now nah, I don't need y'all to stop feeding your family to give me a dollar, and I think that's what he do. That's what he's saying. Oh, that's how the game is. I feel like there's so many, you know, the more and more I get involved with people in the industry, I think, I think one thing primarily is a whole lot of them think they do a whole lot more than they do, and they speak on it like, like they're really doing more like when you ask them well what are you doing what what do you actually do if you find out they really don't got the answer well, but, but you yeah. know google no i don't know and i did google you i'm not seeing this shit. my nigga my old the nigga pops taught me my pop taught me the strongest man in the land is the nigga who wake up and ain't got to ask nobody for nothing for nothing Dr. Umar Johnson been begging like a mother trying to get him some goddamn money for a school. Man, please, I wish I would come online begging. Weak ass. Weak ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we've been in this big old house for a long time, baby. See, they ain't living this motherfucker good, baby. That's one thing we know. They ain't living this motherfucker good in a big old motherfucking house like this here. We know they ain't living. Dr. Umar Johnson ain't got no 93 inch screen television. Man, Dr. Umar Johnson ain't got no mother TV this big and this mother high. They say I'm pimping. Nah, I'm married with niggas. 